Hello, Capricorn. Pretty over here to read your love messages for the month of January. I mean, February, sorry. Okay, so we're here to read these love energies. Um, you guys, um, you know how this works. You get in where you fit in. Even though this is a love reading, it may resonate in other areas of life, okay? And speaking of that, there's a fam there's an energy of like a family, um, like a family um issue, okay? I would say generational curse, maybe. Okay, there's someone who doesn't know what they're getting themselves into because they're being deceived all right the deceit is centering around their psychic awareness okay so um you know with all the purple here i'm gonna say this is in reference to your third eye capricorn okay it seems like either you or another person you would get in where you fit in is trying to deceive you <laughs> by clouding your judgment all right clouding your judgment yeah um <clears throat> in order for you okay this looks like clouding someone's judgment in order for them to not make a decision in reference to change so it's like you know um when somebody is blocking you from seeing the truth because they know if you discovered the truth you would walk away okay this is what i'm seeing there's also an energy of um uh addict addictions okay um I, I see here alcohol but there may be other things okay there's also somebody that i'm seeing that is um addicted to doing something in the occult okay and this is not going to resonate for everybody, but this is a reoccurring theme that I've been having throughout my readings for the past two months, okay? Where if you have been experiencing sleep paralysis, okay, if you have been experiencing sleep paralysis, or if you have been experiencing something, someone is experiencing something, when they lay their head down to sleep, they're seeing other people. Faces. It could be the faces could continuously change, okay? Like shape shifting energy. There's someone that has a hold on someone else's third eye, okay? This is this is the energy of being pinned down in your dreams, okay? I don't know if you guys know about dream walking, but look it up, okay? There's someone sending someone negative energy to uh to them when they're sleeping. You ever seen when 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 or heard the expression where someone knocks the sonic rings out of someone, they're boom, somebody's trying to deplete somebody else of their energy. Okay, I have to say what I see. This may be in reference to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, a Scorpio energy here as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here as well. Okay, get in where you fit in. Um, another thing, okay, if, the, if that doesn't resonate with you, there's also something where, um, Someone may be um, promiscuous because they are under the influence a lot, all right? That's for someone else, okay? Now, let's get into this. There's some secrets, family secrets, okay? Family secrets. There's also someone who is detached from their soul. So if you're dealing with someone and they seem like a sociopath, there's something that happened to them as a child that's causing for them to act this way. I just need to say that, okay? Yeah, someone, someone reconciled, recently reconciled with someone or someone is being asked for a reconciliation. And you, this may even be happening in your dream state, okay? But someone is, is looking to make the effort to come towards you in order to reconcile. Like I said, bottom of the deck very soon. If this is not happening, it's about to happen, okay? But there's an energy of someone trying to cloud someone's judgment in reference to love, okay? I have to say what I see.
right, Capricorn, let's go. What is going on? What energies need to be addressed? If mm, there's someone wearing a mask, somebody, I'm getting the energy of someone presenting a face to someone as if they're okay, but inside they're suffering. There's an energy of someone also drinking or abusing substances because they weren't able to get the things out of life that they wanted. They feel slighted. <laughs> someone was just blowing bubbles with their son. Or this person. Yeah. There's this. I keep getting the energy of an apology. Okay. The, the, see, with this reconciliation here and the Page of Cups and then the Tower is like, I'm. This is the energy of here. Look, I'm sorry because they don't want you to see the shit that's going on behind the scenes. They could be apologizing for something that happened in the past. Okay, with the Six of Cups energy. They could be apologizing, but this, but, but still, I'm getting the energy of a blindfold. It's like I'm apologizing because I'm trying to hide. I'm hiding something behind that apology. Okay? The emotions, it's not, I'm not getting a good vibe. <clears throat> There's somebody who's stressing, like I said, over um, a victory, stressing over things that they feel like they, they're going after, their goals, stressing over a victory, okay? Stressing because they feel like they were slighted in life, that they didn't get exactly what it is that they wanted, wanted, and trying to come out of toxicity. This is you, your energy, Capricorn. There's somebody that may be trying to fight an addiction, trying so hard to fight an addiction or obsession, but they can't. They're stuck in an uh, in, in an addictive obs obsess obsessive cycle okay which is capricorn energy okay but with with the two with the two um with the man and the woman here this is like oh somebody there's a capricorn that may be dealing with a gemini okay trying to keep a gemini bound and tied to a situation Woo. <clears throat> Anyway, okay, so with the with, with, with Capricorn, when this card is upright, you know, it, 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 it does signify, you know, breaking breaking barriers or breaking through addictions or what have you, okay? It's not always a bad thing, but what I'm seeing here when this when a card is like this, it's like not being able to balance the Capricorn energy, okay? Being stuck in addictions. That's what I'm picking up. Um, somebody may be having obsessive thoughts as well. It's obsessive thoughts. It's uh, it, it's it's anxiety. Okay, this is a um, this is a horrible um energy to be in. It's like feeling trapped in your own body. Okay, and this is you know I did say somebody was detached from their soul. Guiding children, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Listen, this person feels like a lost soul, okay? Whoever I'm picking up, this person feels like a lost soul. They're feeling like they are detached as well from their spiritual source is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this and this, 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 okay. This also, with these three cards at the bottom of the deck, and then um, the delegating, the delegating energy. Listen, I'm picking up strong deal with the devil or deal with a guide energy here. Okay, look, I'm going to say it. I'm picking up a strong, I, you know, made a pact with some type of, someone is involved in something special. 
spiritually negatively. And like I said, the energy of dream walking, okay, that all comes with someone using negative energies. Sex magic, okay? Succubus, incubus, soul, um, selling of the soul type energy. I'm sorry, that's heavy, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing. If you're seeing this person in your dreams, if you find yourself obsessed with this person and you keep thinking about them, okay? If you find yourself not being able to control your thoughts, if things are out of the ordinary, if you find somebody coming to tell you sorry and you keep going back to them to continue a cycle, it's because they are doing negative things to manipulate energy. Okay. This person is detached from their soul, which means they're something like a vampire. Okay. What did I say? Purification activates vibrant life force. Because when, they, when these people, when this person is pinning you down, when you're feeling pinned down by energy in your sleep, or when you're feeling bogged down by anxiety and things of that nature, when you're feeling like there's negative energy within your home, it has something to do with this person or somebody using negative magic. And so you need to cleanse. Spirit is, is, is confirming it. So you need to cleanse. This person could be draining you of your life force as well. This could be an energy vampire. So for somebody, after you have sex with this person, you literally feel depleted. It feels good in the moment, but it does not feel good after. Okay, spirit is saying, listen, you're going to have a bright future and to stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. But what you need to do is connect more to spirit. You also need to go outside near body of water because you need to recharge your batteries. And this is a reoccurring theme in all of my readings okay where there's a lot of dark magic being used or just energy manipulation period if it doesn't resonate it's not for you okay <clears throat> um <clears throat> yeah someone could have made a deal with a entity that was presented to them as a goddess or you know they could have been very well um knowledgeable about the fact that this entity was negative, okay? Either or. Somebody needs to change their diet and eat more fruits and vegetables, okay? This is also helping them to do, to, to helping you to feel tired and bogged down, okay? Um, let's move on. Yeah, there's somebody, there's someone that may have already found out about someone else's sneaky behavior, okay? Someone maybe have been acting like they were single or someone may be hiding, like I said earlier, their sneaky behavior so that, that right, okay, so that the other person doesn't disconnect from the relationship, okay? But if you have already found out about this situation, and like I said, the situation could be involved in a Gemini, um... You could have walked away from this person and decided to be single, and that's why they're using this type of magic, okay? Or, you know, either either, either way. They could have been using this before or after. I can't tell you why they're using this type of magic, but I see a breakaway from the stronghold, okay? With the stand your ground, okay? Being under a stronghold, but disconnected from the relationship and making yourself single because of the fact that some sneaky behaviors were illuminated. Okay? Yes, could have been a third party situation involving a fire sign as well. Okay. 
okay take it how it resonates sorry you guys yes could be moving on from a narcissistic manipulative person that may have been spying on you that's very controlling and won't let you go okay um <clears throat> let's see what else spirit has to say This person's intentions, okay? <clears throat> this person's intentions, because they are so detached from their emotions and their soul, is to try to you is to try to gain energy from you, okay? Like I said, okay, this person is like an energy vampire. It's like someone who, even if you're arguing with this person, they feed off of that. Whether the attention you give them is negative or positive, they feed off of it. Because they're so detached from their own soul that they go to look for energy any way they can get it. They don't care if it's negative. This person's agenda is to control you, okay? And also, this person could also be being controlled by some sort of guide some sort of spiritual entity or energy that they are calling on okay that's for some people yes okay and this is a lot of things that's going on in your dream state you could have taken a decided to take a break from this person but there's a lot of things that's going on in the dream state okay Yep, trying to, this could um, have to do with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Trying to, trying to cloud your judgment in reference to love. Like I said, that energy is coming back up, okay? Yeah, this, I, I'm clearly seeing, okay? I'm clearly seeing someone being worked on negatively, okay? With, with witchcraft, um, especially when they, their guard is down, okay? Put your guard up, Capricorn. Put your guard up. This could be involving the Pisces as well. Put your guard up. Because a lot of the time it's happening when you sleep. Make sure when you're sleeping you're wearing crystals, burning black candles by your bed, saying your prayers beforehand, okay? Calling on your spiritual source because they're calling on theirs, Okay? See you next time. As a matter of fact, I just want to leave you guys with some positivity. So let me get some um advice from Spirit. All right. For my Capricorns. You stand in the light of truth, and your light is shining brightly. Okay. And this goes this goes back to why you're having you're getting these energy vampires. Okay. You stand in the light of truth and your light is shining brightly. This is why they're trying to suck you dry. But they're they're doing it someone's doing it under the guise of Oh, nothing's going on here. No, uh, -uh nothing's going on here, okay? Be careful and protect yourself, Capricorn, okay? Look at that. Protection guardian, okay? Protection guardian. Stay protected. Stay protected, Capricorn. This person is trying to, when they think your, your guard is down, they trying to come for you. Someone may be also looking into somebody through a psychic, okay? To try to know when their guard is down. Or to try to know what it is that they're doing, like I said, with the spying energy here. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that helped. Yeah. See, and it's in your dream state. It's in your dream state. When they think this is when they think you're not you're you're not protecting yourself. This is when they're trying to come for you, okay? All right, Capricorn. See you next time.